I'm going to square up this piece of 4140 in the lathe using the four jaw chuck. This was cut with a saw, so these two ends are a little rough and probably not perfectly square. And these are the rough exterior sides. Going to take a little bit off of those too. I've got the four jaw chuck. I'm going to start slow, see how it goes. I'm pretty happy with that, so now I'm going to go ahead and just reverse it and get the other side done. So now that I've got the two cut ends squared, I've gone ahead and I flipped the block on its side, and I'm going to cut one of the side surfaces. And that went pretty good. So now I've got the two ends square, this side and the side against the chuck square. Now the side against the chuck has to sit flush to the chuck as a reference in order for it to be parallel to this. So if there was any debris or metal shavings back there that kept it from sitting flat, then this side would not be true to that side. Well, it's pretty straightforward from here on out. Just this side and the opposite. And here's our squared up block. It started life looking very similar to this one here. Now this looks pretty square, but it probably really isn't. And when you need um, precision, as you usually do when you're machining something, you need to take matters into your own hands and make sure that what you're working with is accurate. You can see that the surface here is pretty rough and you know that could be the shape of the tool that I ground but I'd say it's got a lot to do with the slow speed that I was turning at. This is three inches across and so where the tool interfaces here is moving a lot faster than right here. The RPMs are the same, but the surface feet per minute that that tool is passing is much greater, which means it's going to be hotter out here, less in here. So ideally, we'd have slower RPMs out here, faster RPMs here, but on my lathe it's kind of hard to change speeds while you're cutting. So something like this might be better done on the milling machine, but I wanted to give it a go on the lathe and here we are, I think it turned out pretty good.